A heart stopping moment caught on camera. This helicopter carrying tourists near Pearl Harbor suddenly plummeting into the ocean just 20 feet from shore. A family of four, including a 15 year old boy and the pilot on board. The chopper falling from the sky, then crashing into the water, sinking near the popular Pearl Harbor Visitor Center. Witnesses frantically jumping in to help. We all jumped the wall and ran over the help. I had everything out of my pockets. Witnesses say almost immediately three people swam to the surface, but the 15 year old reportedly trapped underwater for several minutes before he was finally pulled out of the wreckage. Oh, First responders performing CPR on the boy before he was transported to the hospital in critical condition. Maybe three minutes that person was underwater. That was scary. This morning, the NTSB is investigating what caused this doors off helicopter to go down. Bystanders say the last thing they heard was the chopper sputtering, then two loud bangs before it crashed. Now, in addition to that 15-year-old boy who is still listed in critical condition this morning, three other people were taken to the hospital. One was released overnight. Now, this tour was run by Genesis Aviation, and at this point, they have no comment. George. Thanks, Kana. We are joined now by Chris Garden, who jumped in to save those passengers, and Sean Winrick, who caught that uh, rescue on tape. Thank you both for joining us this morning. And, Chris, let me just uh, begin with you. When did you realize what was going wrong, and what did you do? I heard the helicopter, I did not see it, I just heard it uh, go into auto, what we call auto rotation and uh, I saw people running and screaming. And Yeah, all your instincts kicked in. What did you see when you got underwater and how did you guys manage to get uh, that, that person who's in the belt free? Pearl Harbor is pretty murky. Uh, luckily the helicopter is only in about 10 feet of water um, and they were fortunate to have been flying with the doors off. Uh, which is a good thing, you know, you can, so those passengers were accessible. Everybody had gotten out except the, I guess he was a kid in the back. And you guys had to cut through that seat belt. We had a couple other guys in the water with me, uh, Brian, who's a uh, federal police officer, and we had a Navy sailor, and one of them finally got a knife, and we were able to slightly cut through, and it took a long time, you know, six or seven minutes to finally cut through it. And Sean, as you as you were there, you just happened to be turning in the direction of the helicopter, right? I just happened to have, you know, my my phone aimed in that direction, and you know, noticed a helicopter flying awkwardly low and essentially coming straight for us. Something I wasn't sure. You Why know, didn't but you I thought run? It'd be cool. You know, at that instant, you know, I, I did have a, a momentary fear for, you know, safety of myself and others around, you know, with rotating blades. Um, and you can actually see in, in the slow motion video where I did actually duck a little bit right after the impact. And thank goodness now everybody is uh, doing better th this morning. Chris, you know, did you ever uh, think about the danger you were putting yourself in? You acted so quickly. You know, anybody else would have done the same thing, and there was multiple people that jumped in the water at the same time. So, and a it's lot just, of people, uh, the way we, we do it here in Hawaii. And a lot of people are grateful that you did. Thanks very much. Thanks for joining us this morning. All right, aloha. You're welcome. All generous instinct, right there. Yeah, nice. So that's how they do it there in Hawaii, and hopefully everybody will make that full recovery. Mm -hmm.